Alrighty, so today I'm going to be drawing in my brand new sketchbook for the first time, which I am very excited to do. This is a Soho Urban Artist sketchbook, which I am a pretty big fan of. I like this brand a decent amount, that is for sure. This sketchbook in specific has 75 pound, not 75 pounds, sorry, 65 pound paper. It has 120 sheets in it, and it is 8.5 inches wide and 11 inches tall. Now, believe it or not, I've never actually seen a Soho Urban Artist sketchbook of this size in a store before. I've never seen one of this size in a store before, which leaves the question how I got this sketchbook right here. Well, this sketchbook was actually sent over by Joseph Daly, and I am very, very, very thankful for his contribution to the channel. Thank you so much, Joseph Daly. If you're watching this video, thank you so much for your contribution to the channel. I really, really, really do appreciate it. I am looking forward to using this sketchbook uh, possibly 120 times in the future, that is for sure. I'm looking forward to it, I ain't gonna lie, y'all, and I've got a lot of ideas for like drawings that I wanna do a little bit bigger in this sketchbook and everything like that kind of thing. I don't generally use sketchbooks this big. Usually when I use sketchbooks, it's like probably like that big kind of thing. It's like 75% of the size of this maximum kind of thing. I, I rarely ever use sketchbooks this big. So I have a lot of ideas for like big drawings and stuff like that kind of thing that I wanna do in this sketchbook and I'm looking forward to using it just so much in the future. Thank you so much once again, Joseph Daly, for sending this sketchbook over to my PO box for me to make content about and for me to draw in. I really, really, really do appreciate it. But I do think without further ado, it is now time for me to go ahead and get it all out of the plastic wrap it is in. So let's just go ahead and see if I can just slide that out easily. Okay, maybe I'll have to, I'm just gonna rip it instead. That'll be a lot easier. And uh, let's go ahead and just take a look at the inside of this sketchbook real quick. And let's just see, I'm just gonna center it in frame. And let's just go ahead and take a look at the inside of the sketchbook. Ooh, very nice paper if I do say so myself. A little bit rough, but certainly no complaints on my behalf. It did get a little bit damaged in uh, shipping, but that's okay. It ain't no biggie, you know what I'm saying? It's still paper that's perfectly good to draw on. I ain't got no beef with that. Yeah, this is basically just a larger version of what I'm used to from, um, well, well, the usual Soho Urban Artist sketchbooks, in all honesty. I don't think I'm going to use it in this sort of like portrait mode today. I think I'm going to use it in, actually, do I want to use it in this? I think I actually do. I was planning on using it sideways, like in landscape kind of thing, but I think I'm actually going to use it in portrait mode today. I'm just going to stand up and make sure that this is centered on frame and everything like that kind of thing, because this sketchbook is huge. I can actually not see what is going on on my camera at all. I have no clue what is going on, so I had to make sure that this was centered, but today I'm going to be drawing in my new Soho Urban Artist sketchbook. It's courtesy of Joseph Daly with my uh, Japanese calligraphy pen, which I certainly am looking forward to using today. That is for sure. This is dying a little bit, so we're going to see how it goes. But today I'm thinking I'm going to draw like some tall monsters and everything like that kind of thing. I really enjoy drawing like tall monsters of, of, of the same style that I uh, like to draw a lot kind of thing. So that's what I'm going to draw today. And I'm thinking I'm going to have them like overlapping and, and stuff like that kind of thing. I think that is the plan. I'm just trying to get some ink in the brush. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and start drawing their heads. So let's just do like one right here kind of thing. And let's do like another one right here. And let's do like another one right here. There we go, just like that. And let's go ahead and do their legs now. Just like that. It's dying a little bit more than I would like it to, but it is what it is kind of thing. And let's just go ahead and do some eyes. And just like little noses. And now some mouths as well. Not super happy with that, but that is what it is kind of thing. And now let's go and do their arms as well. And I'm trying not to squeeze the pen until I'm all the way done with this first layer. Because I want to do like two or three layers, probably just two layers if I had to guess. But I'm trying not to squeeze it until the third layer. Now that I'm done with all of the details I want to do for the first layer, let's see if I can get some more ink in my pen. I'm squeezing... I don't know if y'all can hear that on camera, but the pen is actually making noises as well. This pen is very worn out. Let's see if the second layer wants to do a little bit better than the first. So let's go and do a circle right here. And yeah, that's immediately better. And let's go and do like a circle right here kind of thing. And the second layer I'm thinking is going to be a little bit smaller. Let's do one right here as well. There we go. Just like that. Let's go ahead and do the faces first.
just like that. And let's go ahead and do the legs now. There we go. Do I want to do any more? I will admit, I'm not like the most happy with this drawing, but it is definitely better than not, that is for sure. I'm thinking I might want to do like one more layer. So let's see if I can squeeze this just a little bit more. Get any more ink I possibly can into there. Oh, it's literally, oh wow, I, I completely soaked that. I did not mean to do that, but that's going to give it a very interesting look. Let's go ahead and uh, do some more characters. Uh, wow, that is just... Look at how, wow, that is so dark. Okay, maybe this pen is dying. It's still dying a little bit, but it's not nearly as bad as I was thinking it was at one time. And let's do another one over here, I think. And I'm starting to lose track of where everything is happening, and that's kind of the goal in all honesty like that's kind of the goal of this drawing is to just kind of lose track of what is going on in the drawing itself that's what i want to do have happen with this drawing and if it's happening to me it must be happening to everybody else so i certainly cannot complain that is for sure let's go and start doing the legs and all of that fun stuff now though but yeah that came through very 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 intensely wow i was not expecting to literally push that much ink onto the paper I really want to get another one of these, though, and, and kind of experiment with just maybe, like, just splashing ink on the page and kind of just messing with the kind of thing. I think that would be, like, a really interesting look, in all honesty. And there we go. I'm just going to go ahead and stand up for a minute and just see how I think it looks. Um, I will admit, I've done a bunch of different drawings like this prior uh, to this drawing. I don't think this is like my best one today. I definitely think the back layer kind of ruins a little bit for me. Maybe I could add one more layer like up here or something like that kind of thing. I think maybe I might do that. I might do that because I feel like this is just like a little bit too empty. I kind of want it to be filled up all the way at the top. So I think I'm going to do that. Try to get some more ink in there. And uh, let's go ahead and keep going. So let's do another one right here. Let's do another one right here. And let's do another one right here. And maybe let's do another one right here as well. Let's go and do the faces first. And really, the only way I'm able to keep track of what's going on is just, like, where the wet lines are. I'll be frank. That is the only way I'm able to keep track of what's going on right now. There's just so much going on. It is just absolutely nuts. Like, the ink is becoming so thick, it's actually, like, disrupting how I'm drawing now. Is this bleeding through? I figure it probably is. No, surprisingly not. Wow, this paper does not bleed through. I certainly cannot complain. And there we go. I'm much more happy with it now than I was prior to this. That is for sure. I am pretty happy with this drawing right here, I ain't gonna lie. And I certainly hope you guys 
have enjoyed watching me draw a uh, a bunch of characters. Oh, boy, I'm just trying to get this to focus. I get a lot. There we go. Now it's focused. Um, I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching me draw a uh, bunch of characters with a my, with my Japanese calligraphy pen in my new notebook. I uh, certainly have enjoyed uh, making this video. That is for sure. It's been a lot of fun to make, and I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching. That is for sure. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, where I drew in my new sketchbook, courtesy of of, of Joseph Daly, uh, for the first time, uh, of course, please make sure to a like and subscribe for more content. Let me know what you guys think of this drawing in the comments down below. I am pretty pretty happy with this drawing though. I like it quite a bit. That is for sure. And I certainly hope you guys like it as well. Um, but you know, thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, please, if you guys enjoyed watching, of course, make sure to check out everything in the description down below. Um, but you know, thank you so much for watching. And, uh, I do suppose without further ado, it is now time for me to end the video right here. Thank you so much for watching y'all to the next one. Stay safe and peace. Have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, I'm saying, I'm saying, and thank you so much once again to Joseph Daly for sending this sketchbook over. I am looking forward to using it much more in the future to the next one y'all. Stay safe and peace. Have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.